Hi, and welcome back to another video in this tutorial series. In this video, I'll be showing you the tools that we'll be using to create our robot. So let's dive straight in. The main tool we'll be using is CTrader, and we'll be getting it from Pepperstone. CTrader is a relatively new platform, which was only launched in 2011. It hasn't gained much popularity compared to MT4, but it's an extremely powerful and user-friendly platform, which you'll see in a bit when I give you a quick demo. It's also an ECN only platform, which means it will only connect traders directly to the global forex market without any broker intervention on the price feeds or market data. So you're guaranteed to get the best price available anywhere in the world when using CTrader. That's why only a handful of brokers offer CTrader, because this criteria automatically screens out all of the dealing desk brokers and market makers. It's also not available on Macs at the moment, so if you are a Mac user, then you now have the perfect excuse to grab a new Windows gaming laptop. Now a few points about Pepperstone. Pepperstone is also relatively new, founded in 2010 and is based in Melbourne. They are an excellent broker and I use them for all of my own trading, but I encourage you to do your own research. A recent review comparing Pepperstone to Markets.com, which is one of VP's recommended brokers. The conclusion was that Markets.com was the better broker, but it's pricey and lacks the feature-rich trading tools that we want. And its commissions are almost double that of Pepperstone, so like I said, do your own research and make up your own mind which broker is best for you. Pepperstone doesn't accept clients from a couple of major countries like the US, Canada, Japan and New Zealand, so you'll need to find another broker that offers CTrader if you are from those countries. If you do decide to use Pepperstone, please go there via the link in the description below. It's not an affiliate link, but it will let them know that my channel is driving traffic to them, so it will help to support my channel. Anyone can open a 30-day demo account just by registering with a Google or Facebook account, which I'll be showing you in just a sec. You can remove the 30-day limit just by verifying your identity and keep practicing on the demo account as long as you like, without making a deposit and without any account maintenance fees. The last point I want to make is Pepperstone offers two types of accounts, a Razor account with $7 commission per lot or a Standard account with no commissions, but they add one pip to the spread. Most newbies will go with the Standard account because they don't know what one pip is worth. And they even state on their website that the standard account is best for new traders. Well, we can easily work out what one pip is worth using the handy calculator in CTrader that I showed in the last video by setting the quantity to one lot and the stop loss to one pip. And it comes out to $14 per lot. So obviously we'll be going with the Razor account. Let's head over to Pepperstone now and I'll show you how easy it is to get started. I'll be registering with a Google account, which instantly takes me to the secure client area. From here, you can go to the platform section to download and install CTrader. There's also a web-based version of CTrader, but that doesn't have all the features we need for coding our bot. Then you'll need to head over to the account section to request a demo account. Select CTrader as the platform type, give it a nickname, select your base currency, and you can leave the rest. Once you click submit, you'll get an email pretty much instantly saying that your demo account has been set up and you'll be able to log into CTrader using the Google or Facebook account that you registered with. This is what CTrader looks like when you first log in. It doesn't look very pretty yet, but we'll fix that up in a sec. Let me give you a quick two minute tour of the platform by showing you how you can set it up to trade the no-nonsense forex system manually. On the left hand side, you have the list of markets you can trade and clicking on it updates the chart and the order section on the right. Let's minimize that for now to get some more space. First, let's apply a different template on the chart to make it a bit prettier. Let's get rid of the RSI and stochastic oscillator because we won't be needing them. And I'll also get rid of the volume to make the chart a bit cleaner. Now we can put some of the indicators that we want on the chart by right clicking on the chart and going to indicators and typing the name of the indicator that we want. So let's start by adding the ATR indicator and we'll just keep everything on the default settings. 
You can change the market on the chart by typing in the market you want in here. Let's change it to Aussie Kiwi since we're more familiar with that pair. We can also zoom in and out of the chart using these buttons. Let's go ahead and add a baseline and I'll use the whole moving average for this example. Let's also put a rune as our trend confirmation indicator. And Chaikan Money Flow as our volume indicator. We can also add a zero line to the Chaikan indicator to make it easier to see. Next, I'm going to add the SSL channel as the other confirmation indicator, as well as the exit indicator. Notice how it says results from ctrader.com here. That means these are not built-in indicators and need to be installed as an add-on, but it's pretty easy to install. You just need to download the indicator from the site and install it. Once it's installed, it will show up under this custom indicator group and you'll be able to add it onto the chart like we did with the others. Cool, now we've got all our indicators set up and we can save it as a template and set it as the default template. Now whenever you open a new chart, it will have the same indicators applied. Now let's say we browse through our charts and found a trade that we want to take. I'll use the Kiwi USD chart as an example. Arun stays to short here, SSL channel also stays to short. The Chaikan is below zero and we're below our baseline. So we want to enter a sell trade. So we click on sell. We enter our take profit at the ATR of 66 pips and the stop loss at negative 99 pips. We'll change the quantity to risk 1% and we execute the trade. Then we can remove the take profit and execute the other half of the trade so we're risking 2%. And there you have it, that's your entire workflow with the no-nonsense forex system. Don't worry if you didn't follow all of that, that was really just to help those of you who are already trading the no-nonsense forex system on MT4 to get set up on CTrader. And it goes without saying, but please don't trade using this combination of indicators that I just showed. These are just random indicators that I've thrown together for this example. But hopefully you can see how user-friendly this platform is, and we haven't even talked about the powerful stuff yet. There are a ton of other features which I haven't covered, so I encourage you all to have a play around with the platform on a demo account. Check if they have your favorite indicators and put a few trades on, go nuts with the leverage like I did in the last video. And feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions about CTrader or Pepperstone. I do have a few other useful free tools that I want to share with you and I'll be introducing them in the next video. So have fun and I'll see you in the next video.